The skateboarding scene here in Tampa Bay has become an international hub for the sport. But how did this happen and when did it begin? So skateboarding seems to have first arrived in the Tampa Bay area at some point in the 1960s through the University of South Florida. Some surfboarders who were looking for a way to stay in shape while not near the water took it up. Originally, it was not really the extreme sport that we know it is today. They mostly just used them for transportation and then campus would have races that were basically just who could go down a hill fastest. In the 70s, is when it seems to have morphed into the more extreme sport that we know today. That's when Paul Schmidt arrived in Tampa from Wisconsin. He was a 12 year old at the time. And while in high school, he got a job working for a local sailboat factory. An avid skateboarder, he looked at his skateboard, which was flat, that's how they were made at the time. And then he looked at the sailboats that were made with curves and he thought, huh, why aren't skateboards more like this? So from his parents' garage, he made a more curved skateboard, which ended up influencing skateboards all around the country. So yes, the modern skateboard was actually born here in the Tampa Bay area. Around 1979 is when the place that I'm at right now, the Bro Bowl came. Today, the Bro Bowl is a national historic landmark because it's one of the oldest remaining public skate parks. The skateboarders around here have just been super excited, think it's a really big deal that allows them to share their story with the world.